when my mother and my grandmother would be parting at the end of the day, they always kissed and they kissed on the lips. So that was very outstanding to me, <laughs> something significant. I remember once my mother was yelling my name. I was somewhere else down the hallway. They were about to say goodbye with a kiss and she knew I liked to photograph that, so she was calling me. <laughs> if I saw a nice moment or something to capture, I would photograph them. My mother and my grandmother and my sister. It's their life, you know, living in Brooklyn, shopping, my grandmother visiting my mother, growing older, becoming ill. The environments were ordinary, basically. It was never anything too extravagant, but it was okay. That was how we lived. Look how did you see already? She, she came in and she's taking already a picture of me. <laughs> My grandmother's name was Minnie Zimmerman. There's a picture in my head right now that I see. It's my grandmother sitting on a bed. She was a very extremely independent, strong person. You want to go outside? Yeah, you could take me any place you want to go. I don't have a pass. You don't have a pass? No. <laughs> Should we sneak out and go outside? Yeah. I have a picture of her that I really love that's in the Burger King. <laughs> that's kind of like a gift and a stroke of luck sometimes when all the elements work together and you get a good picture. It was really on her last day, oddly enough, and I was there at the hospital room with my brother and I went out and I came back in the room and I heard her, she was saying to him, Arlene's gonna be a famous artist, but I won't be there to see it. I didn't have that vision for myself, really, but she had it. My mother's name was Lillian Zimmerman. She had a bohemian spirit about her. She would never go along with the crowd, be a mainstream kind of person. <laughs> but she got really ill and I think she suffered a lot. But everybody pitched in to help and take care of her. It was excruciating, I, you know, and you had to go through it with her. And there wasn't really much that I could do, except for take pictures. The aging and getting ill and passing away. It's part of life, although it's not a very joyful part. But I don't know if I could do that again or do it now. I'm not, I'm not sure. Arlene, I can't get it. Hurry it up. I'll get it. I think part of it was trying to stop time. Hello? Yeah, no. Which, of course, I couldn't do. My sister's name is Karen Gottfried. And she was very caring for my mother as far as caregivers go. She's got a great little boy now, Graham. He's 11. My mother and my grandmother, they passed away pretty close in time. For her to give birth was like a continuation of life. It helped ease the pain of loss. I had this flashback in my head of us running down the street in Coney Island. And my mother was like, 
happy because it was very breezy, you know, we were near the ocean and she had a lot of energy when she was younger and stronger, you know, healthier. One of the lessons they taught us was, I would say, honor from both of them, you know, like they were true to their word. I mean, life wasn't easy, but they gave as much the best way they knew how.